Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going through uh, year 9 progression test. This is the second video of this paper. In the first video we did question 1 to 11. We are going to cover the remaining question in this one. Uh, you see we have here is, here are some shapes on the grid. You can see some shapes here. The question is, let's see what is the question, uh, write a letter A to F for each of the shapes in correct part of the Carroll diagram. So we have this Carroll diagram here. Uh, we have similar shape to X, then congruent to shape X, not congruent to X, not similar to X. We have to put letters here out of these diagrams, right. So now I have written here congruent to shape X. What are the congruent shapes? Congruent are the shapes having same size and same shape and similar are the same shape but size is different right so they can look alike but their uh, size will differ so here we need to see similar to x so x is here if you see similar to x x and a if you see compare them they look same right so they are similar they will it will go in this box then next we can see here we have this shape uh, similar to this we are looking for similar to this it seems to be similar to d so d will come here so you see the size is size and shape both are same and congruent it's congruent also and similar also size and shape so we had uh, this one and this one they are exactly the same shapes with the same size so the it meet both the criteria of congruency and similar now not congruent to shape x so which is not congruent here so you see congruent the size is different so all the shapes that have different so b b is actually similar you see this shape is similar but it's different size so that is not congruent so b will come over here so we are done with this b and then c c if you see then c is not similar c is not similar to this because we have here uh, this two squares and here we have three square but other side we have three and three so they are not changing in same uh, this uh, shape and ratio so c will come here then we have e and f so e also you see it is different like one two three four five square and this is three squares so this is times two here down one you see two squares times two it makes here four so double of that but then here is three but this is not six right this is not six we have five here so this is not similar so it will come over here and we have f f we can say is c this is congruent and similar right for similar we need to see is that same uh, changing in the same ratio like this side is uh, we have two squares and this side we have four squares so times two that is four here and here we have three squares one two three so here we have one two three four five and six so that is also three times 2 that is 6 so we are getting this shape by times 2 so this is similar and congruent so we will have f here okay so this is how we can complete this diagram and it will give you two marks now question 13 write a number in the box to make the statement correct so now we have square root of 71 uh, square root of 71 we can always write you see you need to have a number here let's say we have 8 here 8 times 8 we need to make the pairs 8 times 8 64 so 11 minus uh, 4 is 7 yeah then we have 0 here then you put two zeros here then we are looking for the number after this we don't need this one actually we are given this here so we will have 8 in the box right now a scientist writes a number um, this in standard form draw a ring around the correct answer so standard form we need to the decimal is here we need to move decimal here 7.6 so how many digits we see we have there 3 plus 3 6 7 and 8 so we should have 7.6 times this one here 10 power 8 right 
Okay, so the next one, uh, the scientist measured the width of the human hair like this. This is a number, write this number in standard form. So now here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So our decimal should come here 4.6. So we moved this 5 units right. So that will be minus 5. So 4.6 times 10 raised to power minus 5. Okay. Now number 15. Uh, Mike runs 4.5 laps of a field. He runs total distance of 3.78 kilometers. Find the distance of each lap. Right. So we are going to find out the distance for that. So for that he has a total distance of 3.78. So distance of each lap is going to be 3.78 divided by 4.5. So let's divide this one. Now we can do directly uh, 378 3 point over divided by 45. So we have decimal here. Uh, so we can just put decimal 45 times uh, 8 36 360 minus 8 1 then we can add as many zeros as we want times 40 times 4 20 45 times 4 180 right so answer is 0 0.84 kilometers okay Carlos says all fractions with an odd denominator are equivalent to recurring decimals for example 1 over 3 is 0 0.3 dot so 1 over 3 means 0 0.3 dot means 0 0.33 3 is repeating like this recurring decimal these are called recurring decimals uh, find an example to show that Carlos is wrong so he is wrong so every all fractions let's say I'm taking fraction with odd denominator Mm, so denominator is let's say 5 so when you divide this the, you are going to get 0 0.2 which is not recurring you just end it over here so that means he is not correct so we can write down 1 over 5 so there may be any other example also you can choose any one whichever is convenient on now we have number 17 <coughs> The function y equals to x minus 3 squared can be expressed, can be represented by this fraction function machine input minus 3 then squared the output. Find the output if the input is negative 1. So input is negative 1, then he said here then square, square of this is going to be one, right? Yes. No, no, I think I made mistake here. So we have the function given to us y equals to sorry. This one is here y equals to x minus 3 power 2. Now the input is 1 input is 1. So we are replacing x by 1 minus 3 power 2. So 3 minus 1 uh, minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4 and squared of this meaning negative 4 times negative 4. This negative 4 and negative 4 is positive. So final answer is 16, right? Find the two inputs that give an output of 9. <coughs> so output of 9. So meaning we have the output y is equal to x minus 3 power 2. So output is 9. So meaning answer is 9, right? So x minus 3 squared. So now we can solve it for x. So square root both sides when you square root this and this will cancel. So you have 3 here plus minus 3 right then we have x minus 3. Why we take minus 3 because negative 3 square is also 9 and 3 square is also 9. So that's why we use this one here plus minus sign. So from here we have x minus 3 equals to positive 3. The second one we have x minus 3 equals to minus 3. So x is equal to 6 from here and x equals to minus 3 plus 3 is 0. So we have answers 0 and 6 that gives us output 9. Number 18 we have inequality here solve this one. Uh, so we have 2x 
minus 9 less than 6x plus 3. So, we just shift constant to other side and bring uh, what is this meaning x to other side. Uh, 2x minus 6 less than 3 we already have plus 9. So, sign will change when you will change the side from the inequality. Uh, this is 6x. 2x minus 6x is minus 4x is less than 12, right? So, now you divide it by 4, divide by 4 both sides. So, you have negative x is less than 3, but we need value of x. So, what will happen? So, you are going to multiply both sides by negative 1. So, when you multiply both sides by negative 1, you see negative x times negative 1, 3 times negative 1. Now, this sign is going to change. So, change this sign, sorry, change this sign of equality, uh, inequality to the other side. This will become positive greater than minus 3. So, answer is x minus 3, x greater than minus 3, x is greater than minus 3. So, why I have changed the sign? Let me show you one example here. So, if 2 is uh, greater than 1, right? What about negative 2? If we multiply both sides by negative 1, so this is negative 2 and negative 1. So which one is greater now? This is greater. So that's why when you divide and multiply any number or variable by negative, then sign of inequality will change, right? Now, part B show your solution on number line so we have this number line here so this solution x greater than so 3 negative 3 negative 3 is here so we will put a hollow circle because there is no equal sign greater than is all around this side so we can just put arrow on this side okay number 19 uh, work out 4 2 over 5 minus 2 2 over 3 plus 1 over 3 so now we need to first of all convert them into uh, improper fractions then 4 times 5 is 20 plus 2 is 22 over 5 minus 3 times 2 6 6 plus 2 8 over 3 plus 1 over 3 now LCM LCM is going to be 15 5 and 3 so to make this 15 multiply by 3 so this will become 66 and to make this 15 multiply by 5 8 times 5 40 to make this 15 multiply by 5 so we have this right so these two will be added 65 it is 71 so this is 31 over 15 so then you write it as a mixed fraction again 31 divided by 15 times 2 is 31 remainder is 1 so remember how to write this 15 denominator remains in denominator remainder goes up and divisor will come here so 2 1 over 15 is the final answer okay so I think that's it for this video we will do remaining question in the next one thanks for watching please subscribe and share it with your friends See you in the next video.